hey guys welcome back to my channel today um this is a chat to get ready with me so we're gonna do our makeup we're gonna chat duh. um basically i just want to talk a little bit about um how i'm really like trying to keep my mental health in check during this time so because hey last week let me tell you guys i was in the pits the pits do you know the pits i'm sure you know the pits because we're all going through this together so i'm going to start with my eyes let me actually start by priming my lids i want to do something with blue today for no reason i just woke up not feeling blue i actually woke up feeling good but <laughs> feeling like putting on blue eyeshadow or just something popping so i'm just priming my lids with a basic concealer i'm gonna write down everything i use in the description box down below this is the palette i'm gonna use this is the james charles palette it has so so many different um blues so yeah i'm literally just gonna use all the blues from this palette so last night i was watching um a video my friend did uh, my friend Tishi and she was talking about how um, there are like two different kinds of people on the internet and one type is um, of the opinion that you know uh, you definitely should be working on yourself you should be working on a new skill you should work on like changing things if there's a business you want to start work on doing that if there's a new skill that you've always wanted to learn but have always um, like you just keep saying you don't have the time this is the time for you to start like basically saying um, do like take this time to like do something and develop a skill or develop and you know just you guys know what I mean then there's another group of people who are saying if you don't um, do anything else during quarantine but survive that's actually also um, okay so you don't have to push yourself don't like don't push yourself too hard you know to start a business or don't feel so bad like when you feel like some days you actually or every day that you can't be um, productive because you know we've never gone through a time like this in our whole entire lives so yeah um i so yeah what my friend was saying in the video is that no one is wrong no one is right it's just a matter of um getting to know how you yourself cope in um situations like these well we've never had a situation like these but like these ah <laughs> like this but you guys i think you guys um get the drift i'm gonna just blend that out this is gonna take quite a while to blend out i'm taking a lighter blue to help me blend out this dark blue so yeah what i was saying is i totally agree with what my friend was saying is that different folks different strokes so it's really actually about finding out how you cope and being honest with yourself so for me personally sitting in my feelings and um not being productive not keeping busy that completely finishes me like hey yeah, that's where i was last week that is exactly where i was last week i was just I was not being productive i was not even trying to push myself to be productive i was spending so much time just in my bed doing absolutely nothing so of course i had a lot of time to just sit down and think so 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 much about different things in my life about the current situation we are in and i ended up um overthinking everything so much and i kept pushing myself deeper and deeper into not a good place because my mind was just idle <laughs> like my mind was just idle so i had so much time to just come up with all these um situations in my head so i sat and i overthought i was gonna say overthink and i overthought and i overthought and i overthought some more 
and then i started just feeling lousy um the whole of last week i was feeling so so lousy i didn't i can't even you know like when you have these negative feelings but you don't even really know how you can describe them to someone else like you know they're there but you really just don't know like are you sad are you mad are you is it despair is it anguish <laughs> like you don't even know what it is but you know that you're feeling some type of way one and two you also just like you want them to go away like you just want you can't even describe them but you don't feel like yourself and you just want those feelings to go away so i was in a lot of that last week um and that's when i actually realized that for me that thing of sitting and um congratulating or applauding myself at the end of the day just for surviving just doesn't work for me it honestly doesn't work for me it puts me in a worse position than i was in before like a much much worse position okay one eye has agreed to blend and it's blended so well then the other eye is like no <laughs> no so i don't even know what to do let me try using this bigger brush anyways so the thing is i've always known this about myself that for me i keeping busy is when i keep busy and when i stay productive is when i feel so good about myself so so good about myself no matter the situation so and every time i'm not productive then i just don't feel good and it just so it just makes things worse for me so i think last week i just got a bit influenced i, I started using um these tweets that say if you survived the day then you're good and for me that doesn't work but i was like yeah joanna you survived the day you did absolutely nothing and you could have because you see the thing is i was using it as an excuse because i know that there are people out there who are really really affected by the current situation and are just some days genuinely not able to work and that's okay but that is not me but last week i decided to use it as an excuse i was like yeah so if i survive today that's okay i don't really need to work or do anything i just need to survive and so now is when <laughs> i realize that that is just not the way to go for me it's really really not so i decided to come up with some i don't know other strategies or like ways that i'm going to try and stay sane as much as possible during this quarantine period let me cut this crease i always do a half cut crease i never make it to the end <sighs> okay so uh, what i'm basically saying in a nutshell because i have taken you guys round and round and round you just have to find what it is or what your way of coping with a situation like this is and um once you do do it and try not to let how other people are doing it when you know full well it's not your way of coping influence how you're coping if that makes sense so if for real you feel like the situation around or the ongoing situation is so heavy for you and some days you're genuinely just you just need to tune out and not be productive or you can't be productive then that's okay so when you go online and you see people um whose way like me is being productive and you know they're trying to keep busy they're waking up they're working out that's not me i mean now the other people <laughs> but uh yeah they're like really keeping busy they're trying to be productive don't try and let that not get to you and make you feel um some type of way and then for those who are like me who for you to cope keeping busy is the way to go then also don't go online and let the other side i don't even think there are two ways but let's just go with that <laughs> but uh don't let the other side kind of like influence you when you know full well that for you to cope 
it's important that you stay busy have a routine da 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 then you go online and you're like ah uh-uh, i don't feel like today and you know in you this is me by the way i know i'm just being lazy and i don't want to just i just don't want to get up and film that video but i tell myself why oh, in a pandemic joanna like who cares about filming chill out get into your bed and chill out <laughs> So yeah, I don't like how um the internet makes it that it's one way or another. There's so many different ways. So I think what's important is for you to find out your way how you can best cope with things, how you can be okay coping. I'm going to go put this light blue in the in a part then i'll go in with like a darker shimmer oh that's such a pretty blue wow that is really pretty i may or may not have done this look before who knows who knows creative block has been on fleek so i'm um, this week i've actually committed to filming something every day whether it's a makeup look whether it's a youtube video but every morning just filming something because I think that's that for me is usually a good recipe to like get some ideas flowing because when I am experiencing creative block and I don't create then I just find it harder and harder to come up with ideas but once I start creating even if it's something that will never make it to the internet I find that my creative juices start to flow again and I begin um, coming up with ideas I think even that's usually what's advised to writers who are suffering from writer's block if I'm not wrong they tell you to just write just write anything just anything um, it doesn't have to be good no one has to see it but just commit to writing something and um, yeah usually that can help to like jumpstart you or just get some ideas flowing through you so now i'm gonna use this darker shimmer it's also a blue i'm just using blues today oh that's also gorgeous wow i don't think i've ever used this blue from the palette that looks amazing I'm using that dark blue that I had used in the crease and I'm using that to smoke out the outer corner I think I'm done with the eyes what do you guys think I like it I think I like it so I'm gonna just put on some lashes quickly I think I'm just gonna do that off camera these are just some random lashes this one is a bit droopy at the corner What's going on? What's going on? I'm just gonna leave it like that. Okay, you guys, just ignore. Let's go ahead and move on to the face. I'm gonna do my under eyes a little bit, not a little bit later, but after I'm done with my face. So now let me tell you guys how I, my game plan, like how I plan to cope uh, with this situation because it's gonna be here for quite a while. It's going to be here for quite a while and uh, me, I've just decided to accept that <laughs> because if I don't, I will go crazy. So one of the ways uh, I'm trying to do that is I've been trying to keep a gratitude journal. So every single day I try to write down 10 things. I know that sounds a lot, but 10 things that I'm grateful for. So out of those 10 things, I actually try to have some that are related to the quarantine situation because i had gotten stuck in this place of just constantly looking at what i'm missing out there you know i miss like right now maybe i would be planning to go on a trip to god knows where or um or you know i miss going for happy hour with my friends or i miss uh you know even just like going to an actual shop and doing shopping like you know i miss 
those things so i was focusing so much on that you guys like that's that's the main thing i was focusing on so now when i started doing this um just writing down things i'm grateful for i started to realize that there are actually many things that i'm appreciating in this situation that i probably wouldn't have gotten like for example one of them is that i am spending so much time with my family and i don't think i would have spent as much time with my like time that is just because you know usually like in the day to day it's like everyone has their own lives you know some wake up go to school some wake up go to work come back at the end of the day everyone is tired so it's just like oh hey how was your day just those on top on top um greetings you know oh it was good how was yours mine was also good um so you never really like hang out in like for me i never i would never really really hang out with um people in my family so this uh quarantine has really given me an opportunity to just to spend time like real time with my family and even like discover new things about people my, about my family so um yeah and also i found out that when i keep that journal i end up looking at the day so positively because i'm like already trying to look for things to be grateful for and i also try to make them i read somewhere that the smaller the thing is that you're grateful for then the more you'll find joy in like smaller things uh so that's really really been helping me to just look um on the bright side of things because i had gotten stuck in a place where i was just thinking ah this now uh, the corona um i had all these travel plans you guys remember i had shared with you my vision board for 2020 and it was full of travel um i feel like everyone's been saying that but oh well <laughs> i guess many of us wanted to travel so yeah i had gotten stuck in thinking now my vision board is useless my goals are useless but looking at the bright side i'm also like one of the, my goals was managing my finances and you know saving more and quarantine was just like here you go oh, this is a perfect i'm not spending money on fuel i am not spending money on eating out guys i haven't eaten out in god knows how long and i'm here and i'm surviving and i've learned how to make do with the food we eat at home i'll definitely encourage you to do that just look at there's some things i'm sure like if you are someone who was constantly working now you have time to actually slow down time that you might never ever have had if it wasn't for quarantine or if you're someone who that you you always say you want to have time for this this and the other and you never have time like you know and now you're finding that you have time for some things like there's a lot um like we can choose to focus on that's coming from this situation so that's really been helping me a lot a lot a lot a lot i've done things i haven't done with my family for example in a long time like playing board games okay so the other thing for me that's helping is having some sort of a goal in mind each day and some sort of a routine now for me i realized that having super strict routines where i just fill my day with things and i'm so strict on myself you know wake up at 8 make your bed 8 to 8 15 8 15 to 8 30 shower 8 30 to 9 skincare you know that just doesn't work for me you know um i think it can work for me for like one week and then i'm just like ah, i can't do it and then when i stop sticking to my routine i feel bad about it so that does not work for me it just doesn't work for me so what works for me is having some sort of a like i don't know whether to call it time blocks where in the morning i have i want to do some one thing then take a break then do another thing so like that like that and every day is is different so like for me what i what i'm doing this particular week is i wake up and i film like that's the first thing i do 
in the morning um also because it's the hardest thing for me to get up and do <laughs> so i choose to do it in the morning it's like the hardest hardest thing to like i get so so lazy to film so i said that's the first thing i'm gonna be starting with in the morning because also when i tackle the hardest thing then i get so motivated to tackle the other things in my day so this week and i i did that yesterday and i i've done that today because i'm filming this in the morning and i plan to just keep doing that for the rest of the week then um after that in the afternoon the plan is to do a course there's a there are two courses i'm currently doing one is the most popular course in yale <laughs> And it's free guys i'm actually gonna link it down below so that you guys can um check it out it's called the science of well-being it's like a course on happiness so i've been doing that and i had also registered for another course on the psycho is it i think the psychology of marketing so yeah that's something i do some afternoons some afternoons i don't um I edit in the afternoon but just having some sort of a structure to the day but not so structured that it's like Kai, I'm meant to be filming right now between 10 and 11 and I'm sitting on my phone scrolling through social media that that doesn't work for me so keeping busy really 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 helps for me guys like it helps ah oh, yeah yeah it's it's it just helps a lot because i'm keeping my mind busy and I, I don't have time to sit down and just think about all the bad things that you know are happening to me to everyone so my mind is busy and yeah i'm just happy at that way the other thing for me that um is helping is being around people um i know this might not be possible for everyone but if let's say you're in quarantine with your family or your partner or your roommates or your friends like whoever you're in quarantine with um and i don't mean like hanging out with them but for me what's helping is just being around them so usually some people in my family work in the sitting room so um i used to just like stay in my room and hang out in my room by myself but now i've been trying to just like do what if it's something i can do in the sitting room then i will because just being around people just makes me feel it makes me feel better i can't i don't even know why it makes me feel better i can't explain but it's just nice so we'll be many of us sitting on the couch each person is really just doing their own thing you know um someone is working on their business maybe me i'm editing someone is coloring someone is sketching or in fact even sometimes like people are playing like video games but just being around people is just very helpful to me so it could also be helpful to you like if you're in quarantine with your family just try and surround yourself with them you know don't stay don't now even quarantine yourself in your room <laughs> so that that just that helps me a lot uh i was shaping my concealer with my one and only Sasha Buttercup setting a powder. Now, the other thing that helps me <laughs> and I don't do is working out. Oh, working out helps me so much, guys. And I wish I could just get myself moving and do it every day, but like today I haven't worked out. I just it's just I get this I just feel good you know but they say that working out releases what is it the feel good hormone is it endorphins I don't know don't quote me on that <laughs> yeah so last week I think I worked out three times in the week I was doing skipping skipping is actually a lot easier for me than other workouts because before before now like earlier on in quarantine I used to follow workouts on YouTube and I was getting so demotivated I would get really demotivated so at the very very beginning of quarantine i used to follow um some 
like very intense workouts on YouTube and by the way those workouts are usually good but I feel like I needed to start a, a little bit slower and build up to that because those workouts ended up demotivating me so much because I couldn't finish them and I started disliking working out at home so much because of those workouts so um yeah i decided to just go back to something that i really really enjoy which for me is skipping so last week i actually did that three times in a week so i just put on like some really good music plug in my headphones and i just i and i do it outside to also just get some fresh air and i just i feel really good afterwards and i feel so motivated to just um do the most during the day so working out helps um for me personally so i'm trying but it works only if i'm like i'm not overdoing it but you know usually aki my personality is just those ones of if you're gonna do it you need to do it big like it's a it's go big or go home so skipping 500 skips a day or like taking a walk around the compound that just won't cut it so if that's what you're gonna do joanna don't even do anything at all so i've kind of like been working to come out of that kind of thinking because that is a sure way for me not to stay consistent <laughs> until i start big one hour workout you know full body blah 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 then i can't finish you know so the skipping has really really been helping me just or just starting small in general i'm actually thinking of also starting to do like some simple fun um dance workouts yeah i think i want to to keep that up like the skipping but also just getting out of the house because i realize i don't even get out of the house which is something that i need to do just to stay sane to actually get out be outside you know get fresh air like the whole of last week i didn't even step outside once not even not even to hang my clothes not even once i didn't step outside and that really didn't do me any good so just going outside even just to sit outside in the sun helps a lot now i think also the other thing um i was talking to my friend and she was telling me that um she's had to restructure her or rethink her goals not restructure okay i can't talk when i'm doing this i'm gonna poke my eye out i'm also gonna add a bit of that dark blue on the lower lash line actually i might add the shimmer i might add the shimmer the bl dark blue shimmer on the lower lash line that's what i'm gonna do yes that's so cute 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 I am more or less done or oh, lips <laughs> mm, I had just a clear gloss I had Joanna K cosmetics frost so I don't know I don't know what to put on I think I'm gonna go in with this Huda cosmetics lip gloss love me gloss in muse I really like it learning your lips before gloss really just does something good does something really good now guys i've recommended this podcast before to you guys it's called unfuck your brain oops and she's currently doing i don't know if she's done if she's finished the series but she's doing a series on how to cope during the pandemic that i found really helpful and just really Mm, insightful so i think you guys should check it out just in case you're into podcasts uh you can check it out because uh, it's quite good it's quite good uh it helps you kind of like understand how your brain is responding to the pandemic and how you can just how you can get the most out of it and how you can keep your mental health in check uh I definitely also want to listen to other podcasts um, relating to mental health, but also re just relating to just other podcasts. So, uh, guys, rec recommend podcasts that you love and have been listening to in the comments down below. 
although comments nowadays have moved if you go down below it will tell you ah, 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 ah comments have moved <laughs> so yeah leave a comment and let us know the podcast you're really enjoying right now i always go to harm with gloss so guys also apart from working for me i'm also taking this opportunity to catch up with series that i have been saying i don't have time to watch so i'm actually about to embark on Grey's anatomy because i have so much time and me i've seen that by the time we're leaving quarantine i will uh, will be like this they release a new episode who's there joanna so yeah i'm also like taking time to do just those two things that because I used to think of starting Grey's Anatomy and I'm like, does it have 16 seasons or how many? And I'm just like, I know if I start this one and I'm watching like maybe like one, two episodes every day because you know I have other things to do. When will I ever finish? So there's no point. Let me just watch these two short, short ones that have one season, two seasons, three seasons. But now I'm going to catch up. I'm going to catch up. That's the Goldie Fix Plus. What is it usually called? Because mine has rubbed off. Let me see the back. Gold light. Oh, gold light. What have I been saying? I think I've been saying goldy. <laughs> gold light. Uh, and I, yeah, I think that concludes the look. I really like how it's turned out. And I really like how I look in blue as well. So yeah i hope you guys have um enjoyed hanging out with me and chatting let's continue the chat in the comments tell me how you guys are doing really how you're really doing um for those of you who have found what works for you let us know what that is in the comments down below like give us tips or even if it's not tips just like let us know how you're coping with this situation because you never know who it might um resonate with so leave a comment down below give this video a thumbs up and just in case you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and um yeah i'm gonna see you guys in my next video bye <laughs> Why is it focusing on you? This is my channel!